the roster, I feel, has adjusted around him, as they should. He's a great player, and they need to be preparing to get around him. We are going to be heading into the map now. This is, of course, Overpass. It was Team Immunity's pick. Chiefs have decided to be on CT, and we're getting the first map underway in this best of three. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready. Here we go. We've been waiting a while for this as they get set up, but it is best of three here. The winner goes through to the grand final to play off for that $5,501. Can't forget that $1. A bit of banter from that one. We are going to be seeing the boys from Team Immunity push around long. Nice to have it on overpass here. Nice uh, spread out and clean map. We've seen Nuke a couple of times today in contrast. They're going to be pushing on to look for the A-Site. A-Site stacked up by the Chiefs. And Alistair pulls out the first frag. He'll get another one. That's two for him. And Tux gets Urkast as well. Moe standing in the smoke. And Alistair will push around to try and find him. And we've got James sitting right in front of us. Moe picks up Tux. The smoke going to dissipate. We hear James shooting from down near the toilets. And it's going to be Alistair who gets around behind him. It's Moe. The, oh, my goodness. Alistair picks up James. And Inns gets Moe to save out Alistair. Alistair picking up a 3k already in this one. He's been going off on the pistol so far. The Deagles on the train map previously, absolutely brilliant. And then he, do he doesn't need a Deagle that time. Couldn't no, he didn't need a Deagle. He just needed some time with his team. That's it, moving into round two here. Team Immunity, they're gonna be left uh, not too fantastic. They've got the Deagles this time, but it's not going to be great. Not much utility, only two flashes and two players with head arm. This is, of course, the best of three. Urkast with the CZ going to find Tux. Tux will put him down with a UMP, and that's a great kill for Chiefs. They've opened up that side of the map just that little bit more. And here comes Moe with the tap onto Malta. He's down. A good kill for the T side. Of course, they want to be opening up the map to try and get a bomb plant down. Map still quite even here. Two people on either side. One waiting in center. Actually, Pex is moving. And he's having a look, trying to see if he can see anything down. He can't find anything at the moment. Slow play coming through here. Alistair off camera going to be picking up Burn. We're still waiting for the T side to execute. I think they're waiting as well, T ball. Nothing happening at this stage. Moe has spotted out one. Pex down near Monster, not going to find anyone. And the pace has slowed down as the teams prepare for this push. Uh, James trying to come out through the smokes here. Pex is completely waiting for him. Pex and Tux pretty low there with those UMPs. James. And James will take out Pex in the end. It's a good kill with the Deagle. Inns is here. He's going to be able to get one. Tux picks up Grat. And it's now James that's left. Inns needs to reload and rotates back. James on 20 HP. He will see Tux jump. And he's going to get put down by Alistair. Chiefs leading with a quick 2-0. I like that little distracting jump there, just yeah. to get the little shot down. It's a little bit of, hello. <laughs> hey, uh, look at me. And then the kill comes out from heaven, of course. 2-0 now, and we will see Chiefs buying. There's one UMP on Tux, the Tech-9 on Pex with armor. Two M4s on the FAMAS in the hands of Malta. It is a full save coming out from Immunity. Not even pistol caught up at the moment. Alistair playing quite aggressive. Burn is going to push up on him, and now Tux, after the push, will be smoking out. That stairwell, Urkast rotating along the long side, and Malta picks up Moe, first kill of the round. Yeah, we've normally seen P250 buys at least, but the full Glock. It is, and Tux has taken out Urkast as well. Urkast unable to push around that long side. That's going to leave Immunity two down. It's five versus three right now. The better guns are on the side of the Chiefs. A few shots onto Malta there. Not going to get too much off him. 83. Oh, Tux finds Gratisfaction before Gratisfaction can do too much damage to him. That much with the 2k. Chiefs win the round on Alistair's kill onto... Uh, on Burn. Burn. That's right. James was put down in Monster. As some backup came from Inns with the Tech-9 to help out Malta. And Chiefs have taken the 3-0. This is where we're going to see the first buy coming out from Team Immunity. They've got nades, armor, s utility, and of course the AKs. Hopefully we can see some big frags come out of them. And they can turn the tables on this 3-0 scoreline. That would definitely be good for them. But the Chiefs, they want to keep pressing on. They're holding 
off so far. The T's not really wanting to push out too much. And the Chiefs, they're impatient this side. They don't really push too much with the CT. No, they don't. They hold on to it. I think that's a play style that's been working for them. If they can wait it out and wait for Team Immunity to push and make mistakes, then Chief will capitalise on that. That's all it is. That said, they have fairly aggressively pushed up, um, but they're still waiting it out. They, they rushed up, but now they wait. They are, they're they playing aggressive lines on the map. Burn Whoa, taking out Tux. That's a good one. Good work, Burn. And, and we're still calling him Intel. You're there still calling him Intel. We're having Chiefs. Look, they are playing aggressive angles, but at the same time, they're not pushing. They're not pushing to try and search out for the kills. It allows them to be right up at front, get some early communication of where Team Immunity is playing, but at the same time, they're not playing too ham. Insane. That Urcast is on the bottom of the stairs. Alistair is above him. Inns takes out Urcast. Backing up Alistair there. The Molly comes out and the flush up top. Moe will be pushing. Alistair has spotted him out. Moe has the smoke. Goes for the tap but won't find anyone. And needs to get his smoke out there to protect himself. One down on the side of Chase. One on the side of Immunity. It's looking a lot better for Immunity as they push towards the A site here. Only one on it for the Chase. So they should be able to get the bomb down. Although Malta is coming up from behind. Bomb goes down. And this is the community right oh, now. Oh, Moe takes out Ali and in. Dancing back in James. Burn and Grack get kills for themselves. And now we're down to a 1v3. Oh, Burn takes out Malta. And that's the first round for Team Immunity. 3-1. Scoreline still favouring Chiefs Esports Club. But Team Immunity are clawing one back. Yeah, Chiefs still with some money here. They'll pick up some M4s. The AKs will come out for immunity, maybe. No, they're not going to be able to pick up an orb. They definitely don't have much, enough money for that. They'll still go with the AKs. But one UMP on in. UMP on ins can still be dangerous, though. Don't count it out. We're going to be waiting for Team Immunity to push up here again. A slow play, it seems. Yeah, quite potentially. The Chiefs have pushed up in a similar fashion here. Uh, still don't still don't want any push coming out but the b side they could push through monster they certainly could Inns is going to get burned james will take out Inns in retaliation alistair trading back once again favorably and picking up james he'll drop down throw the molly out and urcast with great spray will take out ali it's now a 3v3 immunity a disadvantaged here urcast is tagged up and they're going to be looking for the push now Rotations favoring the B-side. Tux coming in underneath. And we got Grat over by Monster. We'll need to try and make a play if Immunity hope to get another round win on the board. 45 seconds left in this round. Nades are going out from Pex. And here's Tux from behind. He gets Grat. He gets Urcast. And he'll be looking for one more. But Moe goes down to Malta. And that is Chiefs Esports Club winning the round. 4-1 now for them. And Team Immunity... Not quite enough money to buy up here. They're either going to force, but I think the better plan is to eco, and eco hard. Yeah, that is definitely what they look like they're doing. It worked from previously, but... It's going to be a pistol the, buy, though. The ch yeah, they'll, they'll buy up some pistols. It, yeah, Tech 9, CZ. But you still got all the M4s on the Chiefs and the uh, AK they picked up. Yeah, they picked up an AK. Malta grabbed that. Or from his last frag of the round. Tux is taking out Burn. That's an early kill in this one. Minute 35 still on the round timer. Inns has grabbed Moe as well. And it's a very healthy CT Chiefs against the disadvantaged team immunity. They've only got pistols and their hopes to carry them through this round. Yeah, their hopes might not do too much. They're going to need to find some heads. Uh, even, even if they start shooting him in the legs of the bodies, they're not going to get the kills in time. They're, the B site is completely shored up by the Chiefs. He's a really chance, but luckily that's the way they're going. Now Tux has seen one member of Immunity. That was Urkast in toilets. Grat is rotating and Ali is pushing onto James. That's bombed down, but I don't think he knows it. Urkast will pick up Tux and Malta trades one back. Grat with his Glock needs to make something work here. He's the lone man, and he's got nothing to lose. He's got to try and pick up a kill here to try and get some extra cash heading into round number seven. And it's hard when you look out at three players there trying to get a kill with a Glock. Oh, it is. 
I mean, only one kill so far for Team Immunity in this round. Grat's going to go back and pick up the Tech 9. A good option, as of course he can get some more armor penetration with that pistol. And he's going to look for the kill button. Malta and Tarx put him down. Chiefs Esports Club wins another round. 5-1 now. Chiefs taking this first half by storm. Yeah, 5-1 now. Team Immunity, are they going to buy or are they going to... Nope, they are not going to buy. They're going to go for Deagles, P250, and a CZ. So they are being very, very cautious right now with their economy. And this is this is pretty good for Chiefs right now. They'll go up to at least 6-1, you would assume. You would assume that they will. Anything's possible in this pistol rounds. Immunity's damn good with their pistols, as we've mentioned previously today. 62.5% of pistol rounds to start off halves was won by Team Immunity. They can frag pistol v pistol, but this is an anti-eco. They're going to need to frag against a full buy on the side of immunity. And an AWP on Tux is absolutely dangerous. That man can frag with a scope. He's going to be watching this angle here that we see on screen. Ali will take out Moe. That's an easy kill. Urkar's going to be pushing. Tux has missed one shot. He's going to look for a second. Ince picks up Burn and Tux gets James. That is Bomb Carrier down. Ali is going to be double teamed here. He picks up one. He picks up two Whoa. with the CZ. Turns it on Urkast and Grat. Alistair fragging really well in that one. Alistair going nuts. He, he has pulled off quite a few decent performances there. He's up to 11 kills. Over on Team Immunity, the top player has three. And Ali's sitting on, third, on 11. Unbelievable work coming out from Alistair, CZ, doing him grand justice, it seems. Team Immunity trailing behind by five rounds still, as the match score is 6-1. Alistair coming out big so far. If he can get a 3K this one, he's averaged two kills a round, which is absolutely no small feat, especially not against Immunity. They were very scary in the previous matchup, but the Chiefs, they're not intimidated. No, they're not. And remember, Overpass was actually Immunity's pick. Chiefs chose CT on this. They did choose the side advantage, but this is Immunity's map to lose. As we see now, the push coming through. It's going to be James. Lining up here, wants to get some smoke sorted out. They're going to look for the push onto the B site. Not going to happen. 6 1 now. Chiefs, they're still up. They're going to 7. There it bang, is. Bang, bang, bang. Tarks, Pex, everyone's getting involved there in the kills. They've got tons of money. Tarks getting himself up to 11 kills as well to tie himself up with Alistair. And. Pex is sitting on 10 grand at the moment, saved on him. Even if Chiefs manage to drop around, they've got plenty of cash to be able to buy up fully again. And Team Immunity really need to start pulling some things out. They've got Deagles and P250s here, two P250s, one on Grat, one on Urcast. We need to see them put them to good use, pick up some guns here and take this round by storm if they wish to close out the second half and uh, close out this gap. It's going to be Tux picking up one kill initially on Burn, and Moe's quite lit as well. 30 HP remaining. Alistair on the site, waiting to try and get some vision from Toilets, but no one's there for him to see. James pushing up through Monster, will be taken out by Inns, and it's looking like another Chiefs round. Team Immunity cannot get anything going at all. Alistair, though, he did see Urkast and went back for the frag. He'll pick up a second on Grat, and he is holding this A site on his own. Moe is the last man standing with 29 HP and his Kumitro Dragon Deagle. He needs to make good use of it. And we've been saying that we need to see Immunity make good use of their pistol rounds in general. It's going to be a good kill there on Alistair. Needs to pick another one up. But Tux will close him out. And that's going to be Chiefs Esports Club winning yet another round. 8-1 now as we head into round 10. And here we go. Immunity have cash. They've had about five to $6,000 each. So they can buy up now. They should be, they'll get at least their AKs. Uh, no head armor for gratisfaction because he's finally got the AWP. Finally got the AWP in his hands. Interesting to note that nobody on the side of Team Immunity has achieved five kills yet so far in these ten rounds. Nine. Tenth round Well, now. ten round now, yeah, of course. And uh, this round will be the decider on whether they make it ten rounds with none of them hitting five. 
8-1. Chiefs Esports Club have a lead to push. We do see the stack coming through here. Malta being the support that his team really needs. Uh, Chiefs, if Chiefs can win this round, it will it could very possibly just kill all moment, all sort of hope that immunity have, even though it's still really early in the game. We're only ten rounds in. But if they've saved for about th two or three rounds to actually get this buy going immunity just for their own moral happiness have to get this. That's right, just to improve morale. I mean, looking at how Overpass was during the league stage, it was heavily CT-sided. And so coming up into the finals, we are seeing a similar pattern come through here with Chiefs against Immunity. Not just putting it down to, of course, the map skew, but Chiefs have been playing phenomenally well. Alistair getting very good kills. He'll get burned, and James. Urkast will get Malta, and Tux will answer back, taking out Urkast. He's looking for another kill here. Grat he is blinded in the smoke, and Tux will take him down. Moe gets Pex. And that's a good pick for him. It's 1v3 once again. Moe, the last man standing. And Alistair puts him down. Alistair getting three kills once again. Moe was the only one left. He had the bomb, but the site was stacked. They knew that it was an A push. They had everyone there and too much defense to contest with. We've got a match pause here. Chiefs up 9-1. They have so much cash. Tux, he's sitting on just almost $12,000, and he doesn't even have to buy. No, he doesn't. He's got that orb sitting in his arms. We see Team Immunity here talking, discussing Urkast there, in-depth conversation. James listening intently. And we need to see a change come out from Team Immunity. They need to start bringing rounds back in order to take control of this series. Well, that... They need to change something. That is an absolute guarantee. What This map, it's 54% to the CT side. That doesn't mean you should be winning 9-1. No, that's right. It means that in the league, 54% of matches played on overpass were CT sided. Not 54% of the rounds. We're not talking that <laughs> 54... I mean, 9-1 is not 54%. <laughs> no, that is 90%. Not. But Gratisfaction's the only one who hasn't been able to go up to the AK. He's sitting there with the UMP. But the Chiefs, they got so much money. Even if they lose a round, they just buy straight back up and they can put Immunity back under pressure. Immunity, again, they've got the UMP versus the AWP as their buy option. James, he's got no utility either. And that utility is going to be a pain as they push through. James does turn on Ali. Ali, interesting position for him to have aggressively pushed up to. And I'm not sure how he missed that one. And it doesn't matter if you don't have any utility, if you can just whack him in the head. Yeah, that's it, just to hit him in the face. Square between the eyes, that's all you need. Now, James, he's down to 46%, but Pex is looking up over the B site. It does look like a push towards B is about to come out, though. Just under a minute left on the bomb on the timer to at least plant the bomb. We are seeing Team Immunity push up here. Pex has taken out Moe and Inz is going to get burned, preventing the push. Inz is on two now, taking down Urkast as well. Grat is pushing towards the pillar and around looking for Inz. Has not found him. Flash will not come out. Pex gets James as well. Grat finally trading one back, picks up Inz. It's not a good look as he's the last man standing. 1v3. It's a position that Immunity has found themselves in all too often. In this matchup, Grat will pick up Hex. He's grabbed the M4, is spraying. Can he clutch this? He's taken out one already. Grat, 62 health. He's going to find Tux and will get the kill. Now looking for the final one. Malta versus Gratification. And the bomb is not oh, going to go no! down. Malta takes it out and clutches it out. That's another round for Chiefs, but so close. I thought Grat was going to have that one. Yeah, the timer was just running down too much. It was either, am I going to go plant the bomb? Am I going to go seek him out? Mm. In the end, the bomb plant was obviously not the right decision because there was an easy pick off there. But he was running low. He still did have to reload as well. He only had nine left in his clip. That's right. So that is not helpful, especially when the your opponent's jumping But then again, around. nine bullets left in his clip. He still could have got that kill. He could have. Then you've got your pistol you can change to as well. So he opted rather than pushing for the kill, which would have been high risk. He opted to go for the bomb plant. Malta was counting on that running down the time and just played for that and it's managed to get the kill. 
it, it's not Mirage B site. You don't have all those pillars up there. You, That's it was, right. It was just a piece We're of not talking about archers here. Piece We're talking of plywood. about trying to keep it down on B here on overpass. I mean, he's not going to be able to do that. And my God, the flash comes out. Moe picks up Ali and James gets in. Urkast has picked up Pex and a much better round start for Team Immunity. Malta gets another frag and that's going to be Urkast falling down. And now they will actually pick up the bomb and move it to the B site. They took control of it, but they didn't have the bomb. So they will still keep pushing through. Oh, he's going to fire through the smoke, not find anybody. It's still 4 versus 2. Tux has his orb firing at Malta. Hits him in the foot. Tux looking through the toilets here. The bomb's actually going to go to A. There is no one there for the CTs. Tux is the closest. That they will go oh, the Tux. Tux is close, you're right, and he's going to get an easy kill. He sees Brat's gun there, surely, and he's going to be looking to push this out. Malta is close behind him, looking to back him up. James has pushed, and Tux will get the kill here. He's also going to look for another, and he's tagged up Grat. He's going to push with the pistol, but Grat will take him out. Burn and gratification against a 27 health Malta. Malta gets tagged, and Grat does what he couldn't do last round and manages to put him down. Yeah, a bit easier there, two versus one in the end, but Tux, he almost pulled something special out there. He almost pulled off something very special. But that is Immunity's second round, so it is cause for celebration for them. They don't have a lot of money still, though. Uh, a UMP onto Urcast, but Gratisfaction will get his AWP and some head armor this time. He didn't have that last time he had the AWP. No, that's right. So Immunity have doubled their round score. Good to see them pushing further forward and trying to get on the front foot. Grat trying to get some shots out. Will not connect with anyone. Alistair gets Moe and he's going to move up the stairs as well. Take out a second in James. Burn gets Ali and Tux answers straight back. In's taking out Urkast. It leaves Grat up 1v4. I mean, this poor kid was up 1v3 and almost uh, 1v4 at one stage, 1v3. He's back in this position once again. I'm not sure he's going to be able to take this one out. Yeah, he has now decided to pick up the bomb it's oh, and he, he's flashing down there he's not going to find anyone down here no, he's going to go for there. something though and uh, i'm not sure if that's going to be advisable he is checking maybe boost positions yeah maybe just keep that or like yeah find some picks but he's made some noise and surely malt has hurt him now he has that weapon switch will be grat's undoing and Malta will push him and get that kill to finish out the round 11-2 now as we head into round 14. And Chiefs are putting on a clinic. And it's another really poor buy for Immunity. That With that AWP, they may have at least been able to, uh, I don't know, push something. But I, I still don't even know if that would have helped them right now. They're, no. just, they're just getting destroyed. They certainly are as they go for the pistol buy. Heading into round 14, they'll need to pull out something very special indeed to make this round work in their favour. And as the team is quite spread across the map, Malta being the sport he needs to be for his team once again on the boost. Allowing his teammates to get vision of the area. Ali has seen one. He's seen James in toilet. He's spotted them out to the left as well. That's James pushing up. Moe is there as well. And the incendiary comes out. Ali quite tagged. And he's now communicated to his team that they need to rotate across. We'll see them grat. Goes down to Tux for an easy pick. And Burn will answer back with the Deagle. Burn now on the site. Pex is going to put him down. Trade's coming across the A site. Moe takes out Pex with some help from James. Ali once again low health but will get the kill. Malta picks up James. And now Urkast 1v3 and Malta puts him down. Malta picking up the 2k. And they're pushing the A site really hard there. And once again they left the bomb. Right back, almost near the spawn point. It's such, it's such a long way to go back, even if you can clear out the site. It does allow you a bit easier to rotate around to B after you, I don't know, pretend to take the A site. The thing is as well, is leaving the bomb back there, they're just trying to not let Chiefs know where the bomb's being dropped. I mean, true story here is that Chiefs is out fragging immunity each round. They're not getting defusals to get these wins. And so if immunity leaves the bomb somewhere safe that they can retu return back to and pick it up once they've got control, then they're not allowing Chiefs the option to get a kill on the bomb carrier and then command possession of the bomb. Ali will be picking up Moe. James is pushing down. Tux gets one. Malta gets her cast. And James finally gets a trade back for immunity. 
taking down, down the man himself. That's Malta. Grat pushing up this long corridor here. He's looking to get onto the A site. Tux is waiting there for him. Inns is going to spot him out. And he's having to backtrack with James. Lurking at the back here, though, is Pex. The man from SYF, the trade, has come across. He will pick up both of them, though. And that is a great way to finish out this half. Absolutely incredible work here from the Chiefs. Huge, huge half. Immunity looking a bit dejected there. It, it's been a tough, it's been a tough half for them. It certainly has. They can pull this back though. Immunity have the skills to be able to beat Chiefs. They just need to get the teamwork and synergy up over them. See it. Now I remember there was one we casted uh, together earlier in uh, the Cyber Game series. I don't remember which team exactly it was, mm. but we saw a scoreline like this. It was more like 12. 3 or 11 4 though. Yes. And then the other team came back to win. We certainly did. And so, look, me just taking my notes there, don't mind me. Um, anything's possible, and especially some of the finals. It's a phrase that's almost cliche because it's said so much, but it applies in every sport. In the AFL, it doesn't matter what's happened all season long. Finals is a completely different game of footy. In CS, it's exactly the same. We're here at land. This is no longer online. It's a completely different game when these guys come up because the pressure has now changed. It's no longer pressure to perform, to do well in the league because, hey, there's always next week in the league. There is no next week after this game. As, or here at finals, there's no next week. And this match in particular, there is nothing left after this. They lose, and whatever team does is out. Yeah, we, well, we've already had one team go home today. That was we Legacy. Have. They didn't get to proceed on any further, and the team who loses this matchup, this best of three, won't be able to compete in the grand final either. Damn right. And we are having a little bit of a break here, it seems, and we're going to have a talk about this game. Look, Alistair, I want to say straight up, performing very well so far this game. Two 3Ks, of course, his 2K turn that we saw with his CZ in round seven. He's really done well in terms of big frags in rounds. He's not consistently every round. He is getting kills, and the whole Chiefs team is trading out very well. Uh, but Alistair is the one that's coming out with some big numbers here and there. What he did for me, though, in that in that half, was he set the tone. Yes. Right at the start. He came out there 11 kills. He did. The immunity, no one had more than three kills. No. And he was he was dominating his own team's kills. Look, he's got 20 up there with Tux. It's, it's just when he got them, it really set the tone for the half, and they just boosted on from there. Tux then started mopping up. Trying to keep this discussion even as we do head into the second half. I do have to give credit to Gratification. Grat did phenomenally well. We did see a big play come from him and he oh, almost yeah. clutched out a round. As this pistol round plays out, Moe and Tux are going to be trading out some kills. Tux will get burned and Grat takes out Tux in response. Pex, the import from SYF, trying to get the kill here and Grat will put him down. Chiefs have managed to get a bomb plant. And with 2v2, this could work as Inns take out, uh, takes out Urkast. Grat and James are remaining. Ali takes out James. Grat is left to 1v2 clutch on the CT. He knows where one of them is. Isn't sure if they're both there from Chiefs. And he will be pushing on Ali. He's looking for the kills here. And he will not find them. Inns puts it down. And Chiefs Esports Club have won the round. It's now 14-2. They are one point away from match point. If they close this out... In the next two rounds, it is going to be the single biggest disparity in rounds we've had so far at land. This is, this is absolutely crazy so far. It took immunity like, 15 rounds to get two. Yeah. And then the Chiefs come onto the T side and they get the bomb straight down with the pistols. And are you surprised that Alistair was a big making in the pistol round? No surprise there. All right, here we have the Chiefs. They've already bought up to an AK, four UMPs, Team Muni still, they, they've had pistols most of this match. They certainly have. I mean, it's unfortunate, but Chiefs have just been kicking them while they're down as well. They're commanding this lead. And I think Immunity are just going to have to, I mean, they're going to try and fight hard in this map. I don't think that they can take it back, but I think they need to be bringing something else to the table when we go to map two. Malta will pick up Urkast, and Malta is looking for the second on Burn. Not going to find that frag yet. He will retreat back through Monster. And he's going to opt to flash over the wall for his teammate to push out there. Malta filling that support role. And we know that he plays so well. James looking over, trying to get a pick. Nothing's going to come of it so far. Chiefs pushing towards his Ooh. B site now. Tuck takes out James. And Moe oh. though with a big, that's a couple of taps. Right, pulls Tuck. down Tux. That's going to be big for Immunity. With only two people remaining though, 2v4. This is Chief's site to lose. Yeah, bomb 
has been planted now. This is going to be so tough for immunity, but they are putting some tags oh. into some Malta. Down goes Gratisfaction from Ince, and this is going to be so difficult from immunity. Look, Moe can pull Moe's out gonna some gonna big kills, much. mate, but I don't think he's going to be able to pull off this round. Alistair's going to come through, and Moe will take him out with a good tap. He's looking for Ince. That's Whoa. another one. That's two. But with that bomb down, I don't think he's going to be able to pull off the round win. He's just taking out trades at the moment. He's trying to get as much cash as possible for himself before the next round. He's only got three left in his clip as well. Doesn't look like he wants to risk moving into two. It was, a good, it was good work. Take out two hurt the economy a little bit more, especially since they bought up so much. But Match point, Chiefs, mate. We're match here. Point. Chiefs Esports Club have absolutely smashed it so far. And this was Team Immunity's map pick. Chiefs, of course, were Team B in the map vetoes. They, being the, uh, the highest seed coming into land, had that choice available to them. They opted to ban second and pick second, obviously. And now they're doing very well. It looks like that CT pick for this map was the right choice to set the tone, as, as you discussed previously. They've very much so set the pace for this match and commanded how it is going to be played out. Even when Team Immunity has won, it has been off the back of what I feel were Chiefs' mistakes, not so much Team Immunity playing better than Chiefs in those rounds. Yeah, quite potentially, but Chiefs wouldn't even let Immunity drop the bomb. Like, no. They wouldn't even let them plant it for the extra cash. Oh, they so let them drop it several yeah, times. They, it they wasn't being planted. Drop it. They made them drop it a lot of times, but they couldn't even plant it, so they had to put more eco rounds out there as well, and we see them on pistols again. And Urkast is going to be pushing onto Malta here. Neither one of them is going to be taking the other out. Alistair will get James. And the, with the way James has been playing, him getting taken out so early in so many of these rounds is the ah. reason I feel that, well, one of the reasons why Chiefs have been able to push so heavily forward in terms of round lead. I've got to remember as well, Immunity, they were the tie specialists. They kept coming out with 1-1s. One Moving forward, I think they'll be able to this oh. to train. I think so as well. In picking up Moe here, and it looks like Chiefs are going to be closing out the round as they push the bomb towards the A site, and Burn is the only man remaining, and Inns will roast him with the Molotov. That's going to be Chiefs taking out the first map in this one. Yeah, Burn got burnt to end it off. How ironic. It's just... That was so good. That was so good by it the was. Chiefs. Um, Immunity just didn't have an answer. No, they didn't. And Immunity can bring it back.